You thought we wouldn't be back, but we are. Oh, we're so back. And there's a murder that has transpired. We've spoken to everybody. Transpired or... So let's start... The search. Aha! Uh -huh, the Duralumen Dura case, case is open. Ooh. Much like this case is open. <laughs> we're ah, gonna crack this the is the metal case Biakia had with him. I believe he said many, many times it was made of Duralumen. Right, Phil? I don't know. What is that word? Duralumen? The last time I saw it, it was closed, but... Case closed. There are a lot of odd things inside this case. Like a nightstick, and pepper spray, and... It's a stun gun. Mm. Hmm? What's this? It's like a magic eye viewer? A hard plastic <laughs> case. It's just the case. The inside is empty. If you click it, it'll be a different I, picture. I wonder what was inside. Hopes. Dreams. They're gone but, now. <laughs> but the one thing that really catches my attention is... <coughs> oh, lobster. Lobster is still alive. Ow, ow, ow. It's got my finger. This small key. Must be the key to the other Duralumen case. I, am I will steal it now. I have seen your snips. I have come <laughs> to murder your children. <laughs> that other case was in the office, and all the collected dangerous items were inside of it. The key to the Duralumen case is right here. It's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Biakia was taken from that case. Which means the weapons inside that Duralumen case aren't related to Biakia's murder. Which means no one will notice if I take them and stash them under my mattress. Please grab the stun gun. Even so, I still don't get it. <laughs> Why did Biakia have this Duralumen case in the first place? For emergencies, he told you. A case packed with all the security equipment? Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case? It wasn't the case. No, that <laughs> can't be right. That's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? Like he had experience with this kind of thing? <laughs> mm -hmm. He was setting a trap. And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful. Truth bullets! The Relumen case has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. I notice the music doesn't stop when the Truth Bullet comes out anymore, so that'll be fun. <laughs> Eat the food, eat is. the food, eat the food, eat the food. Yeah, probably. There are a lot of fancy looking party dishes. In the end, nobody really ate all that much. Well, I <laughs> mean, I can't imagine these are related to the incident. Are those pancakes? Uh, those look like pancakes. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Dinner pancakes. Party pancakes. There better be some chocolate chips in those. Sprinkles. Oh, I expect Such sprinkles. Hmm. Such a huge table, there's not much out of the ordinary. Four legs, very good. Moving on. Why are the windows covered with iron plates? Does it have something to do with the renovation project? No, worrying about that is a waste of time. It doesn't have anything to do with Biakia's death anyway. He was killed with a giant screw! What a way to go. <laughs> There's a lot of tasty looking party dishes and the anime like blah blah blah, blah. Oh, eat a banana. Rose. <laughs> Although actually with the color scheme in here, it's probably like a you know, deep red Merlot, but <laughs> it's just thinking the things that are blood colored are pink. Remote controlled air conditioner. Hmm? Air conditioner? Could it be? We could have had this on the whole <laughs> time? It's sweltering in here. Hey! All of you, why can't you act a little more grown up? <laughs> hmm? What was that sound just now? This is going to be a fun episode for sound effects. Uh huh. The air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room, aside from the fan and the TV and just the security spinning. camera. Look at it spinning. <clears throat> Look at it spin and so much. Spin. The air conditioner's remote control. <laughs> Timer is set to 11.30 p.m. Schwing? Schwing. I'm pretty sure Biakia's time of death was around the same time. If so, that means... Nothing. Let's discard this information. <laughs> that mechanical sound before the blackout, it probably came from the air conditioner. Oh, he's so proud of himself. 
My flashes of inter inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> truth bullets! AC timer has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Oh, creepy. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is important. We need to check and see if Leon is written anywhere around here. <laughs> no, yeah. really matters. Under this very table, Biakia was... Uh, He's not anymore. First, I should investigate the top of the table. Whoops! So, the only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is this desk lamp. I love lamp. <laughs> <coughs> it looks like an antique lamp, and it seems rather heavy. Hey. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on this <laughs> table that really stands out to me. Stall, stall, stall for more. Does anyone uh, want to talk about something? Uh, look at the carpeting. <laughs> now's not yeah. Now's not the time for me to flinch. Oh, flinch! <laughs> I gotta do it. I let out a shout as if to encourage myself, <laughs> freaking out everyone else, <laughs> and quickly looked beneath the table. Several people me took steps away from Hajime at that point. Mikan freaks out, falls down, her <laughs> skirt flies up again. She's wrapped up in all the evidence. How'd that even happen? <laughs> Immediately, I noticed an unexplainable smell, like rusted iron hanging in the air. It's like pretty explainable. blood. Yeah. During the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I worked my way through my stroke and <laughs> slowly shifted my gaze towards Biakia's Man, body. Man, that's just bad timing. <laughs> Biakia Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things. <laughs> you don't know the half of it, buddy. <laughs> you don't know, like, a quarter of it. But he tried his best to lead everyone. It was his best. This time. <laughs> a Byakuya without a Makoto for one <laughs> session and he's dead. What? Why did he have to end up like this? Now, when I was less interested in him doing so. <laughs> the only thing I can do right now, for Byakuya's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. All right. Oh. It. oh, it's taped. The knife was taped to the bottom of the table. Ah. Hmm? Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? Does the duct tape spell Leon? It seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. Glow in the glow dark. Tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. This be glowing paint? All right, so right. A bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed Biakia? Is it? Could it be? <laughs> Are you? Answer me. <laughs> Where's Scarecrow? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? So, Androgynous Cutie could have kept it here, like when he put together the room. Yep. Or Biakia could have put it there. Yep. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that Duralumin case. Duralumin! Damn it! It's possible they stole this knife from the case, except for the fact that we just went through the fact that it really isn't. Yeah. Or they hid it somewhere hard to find. There. <laughs> also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. So it would have been somebody who knew that the AC was timed to go off at that time and was going to throw the circuit breaker because that was too much. Yeah. The circuit breaker's so high. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a why is this so such high. a big deal to you? It's just so high. How is that practical? <laughs> right. So Pekko, who's the only person in that room, would have a hard time reaching it because you'd have to like go over there and then like jump up to get it in the dark. In the dark. So the darkness would happen for a good little while. Mm-hmm. I don't know. This feels a little androgynous cutie. 
I, uh, that certainly could be, yeah. Oh. I, mean, I, I think the, the the fact that Pekka would have to jump to get it does not I'm having the weirdest Pekka. sense of deja vu right now. Oh. This isn't the first time you've seen Biakia dead. Hmm. Could this be glowing paint? Truth bullet! <laughs> nice has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. You're gonna, we're gonna get confession out of you? Yeah, knife. He was definitely Blood killed stand. under there. Blood flowing from Biaki's body formed a huge pool under the table. That's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. Blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there doesn't seem to be any drag marks leading from the blood pool. So he was going for the knife. He was going for the knife, and then I think someone stabbed him up through the gap of the floorboards. Yeah, I think he got it. I think that's it. He got it. Yeah. All right. Huh. Yeah. He was going to kill somebody. Was he going for it? That's why he had the... Uh, yeah, he might have set up all of that. And yeah, he had on the um, the night the vision goggles, goggles so that he could get over to the table and then he could grab the knife. Yeah. And then he would be able to go through all of that. Yep. Because he brought himself under there. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what the other, uh... But there doesn't seem to be any other drag marks leading from blood pool. Truth bullet! Blood stain under the table has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. We're back to cool album titles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the body is collapsed face down under the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something looks like he was. According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdominal region. Yep, he's face stabbed. Yep, yep. Repeatedly stabbed. You're right. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Two bullets! Monokuma file number one has been updated in your handbook. Check the truth bullets menu to review it. No! I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, I won't. What do you want from me? Hmm? What is this? It looks like binoculars, but... With a what? headband. Why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Hey. Pervy stuff. Hajime, those aren't binoculars. You idiots. <laughs> 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 eh? Then what are they? Perhaps. Those are probably night vision goggles. N Night vision goggles? That's that's a little bit Makoto of you. <laughs> yeah. I've seen them at the super supermarket on this island. They also have stock self-defense kits, too. If that's the case. No, the case is over there. It's made of dura loop, remember? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Biakia during the blackout? Nope. Truth bullets! Night vision goggles has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Omek, you sound like Omek from Legends of the Hidden Temple. That's that's <laughs> what I was getting there. Okay. Why? Why wouldn't he just keep the knife in the bag with it, in, in the same thing as the night vision goggles? Why would he leave the knife taped under the table? Uh, huh. Or maybe it's a very specifically packed case. Hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure I've investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Right. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Biakia's death. Now then, where else should I investigate? Hajime. Uh, Hajime, a moment? Huh? What is it? Hey. When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer. Can't be helped if everyone is on edge right now. Especially me, Ken. Mm. <laughs> but <laughs> why me? <laughs> hmm. 
you're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. What? We both harbor special feelings towards Hope Creek Academy. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, but... Fine, if we're going to go together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. Is that, is that Biakia-ish of me? <laughs> I feel like I need to step in. Thanks. I'm glad. It'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. Now then. As for now, we should search inside this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall. I think we should consider the whole building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout took place at the time... Wait, that took place at that time <laughs> would have happened together throughout the entire building. Yeah, you're right. Look at the spinning fans, dude. They're just... Oh. Why are they, oh, they're so distracting. Entrancing. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you win. I, I see, I see. Apparently, a great man once said, investigations should be done on foot. Okay. So, that's why I'm using also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Cool. Well, if there's <laughs> no reason, then there's no meaning. Hey. Hey, Hajime, I just realized something. Let's not talk to her. <laughs> Could she, by any chance, know what happened during the blackout? Not, More than someone else? Like, not consciously. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I was? Are you okay. serious? Hey? Huh? How'd you know? <laughs> so you did hear us. Even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. We were? <laughs> <laughs> Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice through the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to a bookie. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Oh. Ugh. Yes, gross. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, easy, sure, but... Huh? <laughs> la li la la I'll hardly eat it for breakfast. Ew. Mm, I see. Oh, you mean, like, it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of... heavy. What are what? we talking about? <laughs> A man's <laughs> dead. <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. <laughs> she should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like Guys. fried rice or lettuce fried Focus. rice. Anyway, oh sorry, <laughs> she was just so uh, happy. <laughs> uh, anyway, can you tell us what you heard? I got it. Leave it to me. I'm gonna uh, take a bite out of you. Please don't. Oh, yep. <laughs> if you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. What? <laughs> Stop it! What if she takes you seriously? Aww. Let's see. The first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... That's right! It was Mahiru! Uh, it's a blackout! Next was Kajuichi's voice, and then next next voice was mine! Hey! I can't see anything! It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! Yeah, we figured that. <laughs> what a nice remark I made! It's to the point and has its own unique charm. Just continue. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jimmy. <laughs> then there was more voices, uh, one after the other. Uh, everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? Hmm. This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker hmm. overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. <laughs> All right, he's... That's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me. Give me lots of praise. Ooh, nope. 
Nope, we're not. Nope. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. <laughs> hey, Nagito, say something to her. Hmm. <laughs> I ship it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Biakia said during the blackout. What Biakia said? Hey. Why do you say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? And this is... What, what do you mean? Hmm. About that, why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Yep. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yahoo! Let me praise me! Let me bite ya! No! Ouch! Why are you really biting me? <laughs> oh, you're a vampire now! Truth bullets! Ibuki's account of vampirism has been added to the truth bullet <laughs> section. It sure has! Of your handbook. Bleh! <laughs> Alright. Oh no! <laughs> Anyone out of the toilet yet? Clatter, 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 clatter. Huh. It's locked. <laughs> I like how it seems like Hajime just makes a beeline straight there. <laughs> Someone appears to be inside. Since it's a unisex bathroom, I don't know who's actually in there. Hey. How about we break it down? Hey! Someone in there? We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... Hmm. There's no response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should give up for now and check on it later. You think that's a way to, uh, I think it's got holes in the floorboards so that you can get down and move around underneath? Oh yeah, 100%. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Turlet! Fur extinguisher! Door? Spider whip? Spider whip. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> also a map! Yeah, you wouldn't be so startled by that if you used it sometime. I will do this. You're the one who gave me the controller. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. Hajime. The old building circuit breaker should be inside this office at it a is, ludicrous, ludicrous height. <laughs> circuit breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. No doy. So, it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. Okay, I'll climb onto your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have the world's tallest ladder? That... Must be this old building circuit breaker. I'm guessing part of the renovations was moving that down to a code compliant height. The blackout probably happened because of this. I see. Hmm. It doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a step ladder, you wouldn't reach it. What? What? It's a cr crappy step ladder if you can't. Well, I mean, like a three-step or four-step step, step ladder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I suppose. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. I'd call that a step stool more than a... That's fair. Yeah. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad, I forgot about that, but... You're right. Even with a step ladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout. But who? Ta-da! I did! Whoa! <laughs> it's here! Actually... You idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. Thanks, I guess. By the way... Ah, by the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. Hmm. Did the killer do it? Um... Cause you think that... Possibly, if they're the one who set... <laughs> The air conditioning. Why did you say possibly? <laughs> Are you turning into Monkuma? Yeah. Well, no, but it seems like it was Biakia who might have said that. Anyway, I guess we'll find out. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Also, how are you real? Hey. <laughs> well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, I don't. Rocket troops. My body stretches. Ew. You know, I'm very elastic. Great. I won't be fooled. A liar. Don't ask him to prove it. It's true. I'm serious. Wanna see? No. 
Want to see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? No. It's gross. It's grotesque. We believe you. I take your word for it. No thanks. Just imagining it makes me want to puke. And the bathroom's so closed. Wow, really? Such a shame. So cool. Still, don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place. Sure. I see. What the hell? So, he's the one who reset the breaker. We will trust him implicitly. Well, in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? They didn't trip it, or set it to be tripped. They set the air conditioning to be straightforward. Yeah, yeah. This remote control is for the office's air conditioner. Huh? Ah, it ran them both at the same time. That'll uh, that'll trip any circuit breaker. Yeah. The timer here is set to 11.30 p.m. Phil is so angry about this, he's throwing things across the room. God dang it. I'm going to get this cat to stop making noise. I didn't throw the cat, to be clear. I didn't throw the cat. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? Also, it's hot as fuck in here. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I know it's... Tropical environment, but that usually does that. Those usually do cool quite a bit after dark. Can't be a coincidence, right? Truth bullets. AC timer has been updated in your handbook. Check the truth bullets menu to review it. Every time you say truth bullets, I want to start reading the green text as Pavlovian. <laughs> yeah. I'm having a really hard time realizing that you're the one that's supposed to do it. Doing both is a little weird, too. I'm not gonna lie. Duralumin case. This Duralumin case. Not to be confused with the other Duralumin case. Mm hmm. Which should contain all the dangerous items Biakia collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside, just to be safe. But it's locked. Kick it really hard. I can't open it with this key that I found in the <laughs> other room. Biakia had the key to this particular Duralumin case with him. Nailed it. Check it out. I brought it with me, so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take that key without permission? He is dead. Now, now. <laughs> it's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside the case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. Yeah, go ahead. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. I mean, like, th there's kind of been a murder going on. There's, there, there's See? more important problems than is, uh... Uh, that have occurred here. True. So. I'll be filled for a couple of seconds. See, it's open. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. The iron skewers don't make any sense for physics as far as how that case closed. What a miss. Did someone else die? But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here. Because the key to the case was inside the case Biakia had with him. I guess you're right about that. It's the same thing I was thinking just very, very recently. <laughs> oh, um, also, murder weapon was the fifth skewer that was missing the whole time. Mm. Is this his desk? The staff use for busy work? <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. That'll slide right up. Yeah. I kind of figured that would turn out to be what was miss what it was if it wasn't that knife, which it wasn't, so. Yeah. I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Biakia was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker is in this office. I'm Naturally, very high. I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait! supposed to be here. Does that mean... I see. So I was right. You were in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the Duralumin case with all the weapons in it? Huh? First try. So, where'd you run <laughs> off to on your own? Well... Well, that is... Ugh. Uh. Ah. Peko suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. She also have to use the bathroom, but the bathroom was locked, so she had to run back to her uh, cottage. 
Hey, what happened? Yeah, I think so. I think that is in fact... <laughs> no, I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize, but ex excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me? What was that? Hey. Pecco, it appears the bathroom inside the old building is currently occupied, so... I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? How's my keep up? Come on, man. It seems like this will be a tough path. Does anyone else need to use the bathroom <laughs> before the party started? You shouldn't... Ah. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pecco wobbled out of the office. That's uncomfortable. To be fair, it was supposed to be a night long. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> what happened to her? Hajime. Hmm. It's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pecco as it is. Huh? What does that mean? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, is it cool? She didn't, like, run away or something? That's right! Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Hmm. Is that really what this is? We're gonna find out what really that it is. And I'm gonna lock this cat in a different room. <laughs> in a future episode. Yay!